part two. Okay, so I saw them live. Like I said, I recorded a couple of songs. No, I recorded that whole concert, sorry, from the 2000 performance. That's when Tor and John had joined. Um, great performance. I remember actually seeing Peter and Tor, I believe, in Walmart with some of their friends um, maybe the next day after the show or something. I don't know what I was thinking by not going over to them. Maybe I was afraid they wouldn't speak enough English or whatever. Whatever the case, now I gotta come to Norway to see you guys. Ah, blah. Anyway, so um, a couple of years later, of course, uh, Synergy came out, different band lineup, guys returning, some guys leaving. Uh, great times, for sure. Um, I saw Extol live that year at Cornerstone once again. Um, I captured both concerts um, on video. I think I have at least two or three songs from those videos on YouTube right now. Great recordings, like especially, you know, when I think about some of the other camcorder recordings that were done in the shows, great times. Anyway, so of course, um, some of the people from that lineup left, Ula and uh, Peter and then, of course, um, the other Ula and Tor returned to the band. And um, the Blueprint Dows was recorded. Definitely one of those albums that it took a couple spins to get into, but I definitely recognized the greatness of it. And um, I remember wanting to really see the band live. So um, they came to Ictus, which is maybe an hour and a half away from where I live at in Kentucky. But unfortunately, I was on tour, so I didn't get to see them. I guess, you know, Ictus is always cursed with bad weather, it seems like. So um, I only heard stories about, you know, the tornadoes. It was a couple of tornadoes I heard that happened like right after the show. What are you all doing to us, man? Bringing tornadoes to the show and stuff. The power of metal. All right, so anyway, so, of course, Extol disbanded soon after. I was so, so hurt, but as were so many others. Um, I must say, it's so good to see you all back. You can see all the love and just the responses to everything you all been putting out. Hope the pre-orders sell out soon. Just whatever. Um, Okay, so I remember a couple of years after, or maybe a year or so after Extol broke up, um, looking on MySpace. So, you know, this is old, MySpace. Um, just checking it out and looking up to see what was up with Ula um, Borg. Um, so I click on his MySpace page and I see, like, funk, soul. I'm like, what the hell? Of course, turn, come, come to find out that um, I think I heard like Backyard Party and then I got the album. So I'm hearing stuff like. I'm like, wow, this dude's really doing it. Like just really killing. And of course I'd also gotten other um, albums by ex-members of Extol, you know, and just projects they were um, involved in, you know, like Absurd, The Second Power, Twisted in the Form, um, Mantric. Of course, that came out a little later, but Ling, uh, Lenzel, Lenzel, uh, hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so I was getting all that stuff, just anything. Um, but I was definitely proud of Ula because, um, like I said, being in gospel, black gospel, and you know, being a metalhead, I was like turning all my friends on to Extol, um, and just you know, trying to maybe bridge some gaps between the two almost warring <laughs> styles of music and philosophies. So, um, the solo albums, Shaking the Ground and Keep Moving, were definitely a great way to bridge um, the gaps, so to speak. And, you know, come to find out that, um, you know, those albums have gotten into the hands of some really uh, cool gospel singers. I must say this, because this is pretty important. 
it's so hilarious. Um, Ula did an interview with Inside Music Cast, um, which is a webcast of, um, you know, I guess they do like jazz. And of course, these people, they're really big, like Stilly Dan fans and stuff. And I listened to the broadcast when it, when it came on. Um, and Extol, they played like a sample of, God, what song was that? Um, Renewal, I believe. I'm sure that a few old ladies died. Yeah. Anyway, they played a couple samples, you know, they played like a couple minutes of Renewal. And I thought it was really cool because it was the first time, I believe, that a death metal song had been played on like a jazz station. And so, and especially on the internet. So, Extol makes history, for sure. Anyway, I'm definitely glad to see you guys back. Um, I'll be getting a new album. Hopefully, I'll be able to do some work um, on the movie in some capacity and maybe collab with you all in the future. I'm coming to Norway, whether you like it or not. So, anyway, God bless you all. Peace.